Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Afani. Now, now uh, of course, uh, as Uganda but on Safa, mm -hmm. we appreciate the agenda of government mm -hmm. is backward integration. Mm -hmm. Protect those investors that are investing within the country but also at the home, which is the first uh, approach. However, I think it was rushed to put a policy and put a duty on wires that are coming into the country at 25%. Not in phased manner. I think our proposal was that if we can start with 10% and then iterate so that we allow investors, because our fund still is a heavy capital intensive uh, industry. So when you invest in these machines and all of a sudden you have to approach them, it is a huge cost to the investor. Mm -hmm. So that did not happen. So most of the investors decided to focus somewhere else. But of course, as George said, we lost employment. Of course, course we lost money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So along the way, of course, uh, government realized that because we had a number of engagements with them. Mm -hmm and they actually reinstated the duty remission mm. for 12 months. Mm. But within two months, they revoked it. They revoked again the duty remission. What's your aim? No, Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance. Minister of Finance. So within those two months after revocation, mm. we realized that for us, for example, we had uh, already placed an order based on the future remission that was granted mm -hmm. within the term. So now with the revocation, we have to pay over 350,000 US in taxes. Yet our order was placed within that period based when on the legal notice. legal notice was put that mm -hmm. you will not have to pay tax to 0%. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. like, I don't want to call it uh, yeah, but because gov government gave you an opportunity to import mm -hmm. and when you import now they reverse the decision mm -hmm. and say that you have to pay 25 percent so basically when you do that you are going to pay that 25 percent that equivalent 25 percent means that it's a loss to you because you can't recover uh, against the other manufacturers who are not who are not uh, who are not paying that 25 percent mm -hmm. yeah but just to conclude I find that in the long term we all support the government agenda mm -hmm. of investing within the country and also supporting those that have invested mm -hmm. so that we buy. Mm -hmm. the, uh, those that haven't invested can buy wire rods from Tembo mm -hmm. and the others mm -hmm. that have invested. Mm -hmm. But it should be phased mm -hmm. so that it's not rushed to impact on those mm -hmm. that have really invested in this particular uh, uh, sector of wire rods. So just to highlight that so again. So about that little bit loss. Yeah. So just to highlight that, uh, because obviously just the way Ian is mentioning, mm -hmm. we are really supporting the government uh, intention to in, for the investment in the backward integration, mm -hmm. meaning that the people who can be able to produce and supply to the manufacturers, mm -hmm. that's actually fine. Mm -hmm. But our consumption of requirements of wire is about 500 metric tons, 500 metric tons per month, in terms of investment, consumption, 500 metric tons per month. Mm -hmm. So we are told mm -hmm. that you go and buy from Tembo. Yes. So we place only 10 tons. Mm -hmm. 10 tons for a start, just for them to test the quality on Tembo. We, we place only order for 10 tons. Just to test their quality if it is really good. Mm -hmm. They took four, four months to supply us mm -hmm. the 10 tons. Mm -hmm. Four months. Mm -hmm. So four months we did our material. They supply 10 tons. My requirement, imagine, is 500. Mm -hmm. So for four months, it means that I should be requiring 2,000 metric tons for me to sustain my production. Yes. They give me four, they give me 10 tons instead of my requirement of 5,000, 4,000 metric tons for the four months. <laughs> and payment was in advance. While when you import from outside, the payment is 180 days. So really, if you look at it, what's happening is that because they are also producing, they are also producing the final products. So they suffocated supplies to the manufacturers so that they can dominate the Uganda market. Oh, it was intentional. Yeah, and that's why I think it's also important for us to first track this competition law. Competition law was coming in. Mm. I think it's very important that if, let's say, you are the sole supplier mm. to the other manufacturers, one, the timelines of the supplies, the quantity of supplies, and also 
do you also need to compete uh, with, the other, with the other suppliers with whom you are supplying the raw materials? Mm -hmm. I think it's important for us to actually be able to be guided by that competition law, and it's important for us actually to fast track that. Mm -hmm. But in terms of we are discussing this not as Uganda, but we are discussing this in terms because there are so many sector players who are also affected by this particular decision. Mm -hmm. But uh, where we need your maybe quick intervention is that how can we be able to at least be allowed to clear the, the, the consignment that we have under bond, which just arrived last week and which was imported under the, the, the instrument which was uh, approved at the ESC level under, from Uganda. Uh, for us to be able to consume that at least, then we can stop it. So even if I'm packing my machines, at least whatever I have, I don't have to pay the contract for them to it. But that will send to $300,000 loss to me if I pay that, I can't recover it in the market. So, so where, where is, um, where is that concerned? Well, it's in the bond, our bond. Here in Uganda? Yeah, in Uganda. So what is the, what is the requirement? What is needed for it to be cleared? They want me to pay 25 percent. No, what's missing is that when they revoked, let the me just, I just guide you on this one. Mm -hmm. That letter which in the letter, I'll give you. Okay, now I'll give you this attachment. I'm going to leave you because the storyline is also in this. Mm -hmm. So here is a gazette notice mm -hmm. which was published on the 17th of February 2024. Mm -hmm. Is finance that we can Uganda is given approval to bring in raw material for wire, yeah. And what's that? So 